Good morning, guys. Glad you are hanging with us. And um, we're going to jump in and talk a little bit about what it looks like to live by the Spirit this morning. Um, so we want to base um, what we're talking about off of Galatians 5, 22. So let me read this real quick for you. It says, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There's no law against these things. So basically what this is telling us is that we're living, if we are living in a relationship with Christ and attending to that relationship daily um, and really you know, engaging with God, these are the fruits that are going to be produced from our life. So maybe sit down and think of this past week, maybe uh, through your schooling or through how you're interacting with your family or through how you're interacting with your friends um, or through maybe what you're posting on social media. Think about have your actions, you know, what you've done, have those produced these things? Have they produced love? Have they produced joy? Have they produced peace, goodness, kindness? Or have they produced something else? Have they produced something like uh, fear, uh, anger, you know, quarreling, which is you know, arguing, um, bitterness, um, anxiety? Um, th- you know, just think back. Take a, take a second. Think about the last thing that you talked with your friends about and what was the result of that conversation. Now, this is really important because what Jesus brought to us when he said, hey, I can have a relationship with you. I can have, and and now through this relationship, you don't have to, um, you you don't have to obey a strict set of laws uh, to become right with me. All you have to do is engage in a relationship with me, and this is going to be all you need. Now, when we are living in that place where we're in relationship with Christ, these are the fruits that are going to be evident. This is what we're going to see. We're going to see love. We're going to see joy. We're going to see patience, kindness. Now, all of these things are great, but what does it look like to have patience? Like maybe if your brother's being annoying or your sister's being annoying, that looks like being a little bit more patient and trying to understand while they're being, why they're being annoying. You know, there's a reason. You know, what does it look like to be gentle? Maybe your friend did something that was, you know, not very cool. Maybe you don't need to make fun of them right off the bat. You know, what does it look like to have self-control? Well, maybe that means I don't need to be on social media for three or four hours a day. You know, check that timer on your, on your phone or on your device and say, hey, I've spent X amount of time on Instagram, that's too much, or TikTok, or Facebook, or whatever it is that you're using. It's really important to to have these conversations with your trusted friends, with your mentors, with your group leaders about what kind of fruit your life is producing, because that is a good way, and that is good evidence to see what and how you are living your life. So if you're producing maybe anger or jealousy, um, maybe you need to look into those situations and say, hey, this is a part of my life that I'm not living in you know, constant relationship with Jesus and I'm not giving that up to him. And, and you know, my, my reaction is to be angry about it. So we need to go ahead and dive in and look at that. You know, maybe you know, on the flip side, talking about being gentle, you know, with your friends, maybe if your friend does something um, that frustrates you or that you think is, is annoying, you just make fun of them instead of saying, hey, you know, why are you doing that? You know, being gentle to them. Hey, why are you doing that? And is there anything I can do to help you? You just make fun of them. So if you're, you find yourself in those situations, why don't you take this time to dissect those with the, your leader right now and everyone that's in your group and say, hey, you know, the last time I was in this scenario with my friends and they annoyed me and I reacted badly, why was that? We know that if we react in, in a good way, then we're reflecting, um, you know, we're reflecting Jesus and we're acting out of response to what Jesus has done for us. 
And really, that, you know, that is the evidence of us living by the Spirit. So take this next little bit, grab your leaders, grab the people in your group, talk through a couple scenarios that you've dealt with with your friends, with your family, with your teachers, um, and, and go through those and see, hey, what kind of fruit am I producing? Is it good fruit or is it bad fruit? If it's good fruit, that's great. Let's, let's try to help others see what you're seeing in those situations. If it's bad fruit, let's say, hey, okay, I see that I've reacted badly in this situation, um, but I need to change the way that I see this and see this more like Jesus sees this and live in the spirit in this moment. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in and enjoy your discussion.